How's it going guys? Mixed Gamer Feature Friday. You guys may recognize me from Moto Home Monday. Um, today we're going to be going over a 2021 Grand Design Reflection to 315 RLTS. Take you guys on a little tour of it so we can check some stuff out. We'll start off by heading up this way for us. Um, one thing you'll notice right away is actually the front cap. It's a molded one piece fiberglass front cap with a rock guard on the front of it. They do these cool LED lights on it as well. One of the cool things with Grand Design is they're one of the very few manufacturers that's on the market um, that actually insulate their front cap as well too. So it actually, if you need to stay hot in there, it stays hot. You need to stay cold, it stays cold, which is pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna have an electric jack on the front of this here. Um, you're gonna have two 30 pound propane tanks. You'll have your safety chain, seven way hookup, all the standard features you'll see on a regular travel trailer as well. A couple cool things we're gonna pass. Um, one of them is going to be the storage in this. You get a very, very massive storage compartment, which is great. You can bring anything you need with you. You can store your kids in here, whatever you need. Um, you're going to have a battery disconnect switch inside here. So what that does is if you're not using it, you can actually disconnect the battery. Uh, just like around winter time, like it's getting towards the end of the season now. So you can actually turn that battery, key, pull it out, shuts the battery off, help preserve the life on it. Uh, Grand design, once you step into the reflection models, are going to actually have electric stabilizer jacks on these as well. Um, so all you're doing is pressing a switch for extended retracts. You're going to have one on in here that goes over top of the door with the outside speakers as well too. It's pretty loud. I may have to yell, guys. Uh, but you're going to have a nice rolling on in here that's going to go over top of the door. It allows you to get a nice camping section. slide box they add a second awning onto it as well so you don't lose that space because you have a slide box on the camping side they add a second awning it allows it to make up for it um small little features that they do on these as well um like the bottom step here folds up and it has stabilizing uh, bars on the bottom of it um so if, if you've looked at travel trailers before that have those solid step entrance on and they fold up into the doorway grand design just put two lights underneath here made it a lot easier it's not this big bulky heavy step Outside outlets and coaxial hookups for a TV. So in case you wanted to set the TV up over here, you can. As you come around to the back side of it, you're going to have a ladder to access the roof. Um, and this is a small corner, it's not a party walkable roof. They warned me about you guys watching. You can't go out there at uh, Watkins Glen and kick back and watch the races, but you can go out there and service it once a season. You are going to have a trailer hitch on the back of this as well. Um, in case you want to bring a cargo rack with you, or in some states, if you're going to be pulling a small trailer behind you that has like a golf cart or anything like that on it. Um, and then along this side as well, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you're going to have your additional slide boxes, a little bit of storage, and you're going to have your control switches for your stabilizer jacks. But what we'll do is we'll go around and we'll head on the inside and check it out. This is a 2021 Grand Design Reflection. It's a 315 RLTS. Um, as you check out the inside of it, it's got a nice blend of colors in it. You're going to have a half booth dinette, um, half table and chair set up here. The booth actually comes out. It's an ottoman for the little living room area up here. It does have storage inside of it. And you're going to have your island. You're going to have your Thomas Paine theater seating here. It's going to have heat and massage. Um, blue LED accent lighting on it as well, too. Um, so it's a really nice, almost a, a residential RV brand of furniture. It doesn't wear out like typical RV furniture will. Same thing with the couch. This is also going to be a trifold sofa. So this will plop into a bed. It's going to be a full-size bed. You can sleep two on it. Tons and tons of storage inside this as well. It goes all the way across the top above the couch. You're going to have a about 45 inch TV here. Storage all the way around the TV, as well as your Jensen sound system in this as well. Fireplace that's going to run off uh, 110 electric. Um, really cool thing about that is if you're at a campground where you're going to have electric hookup and it's a little bit of a cooler day out. Um, I know this time of year it's a little bit of a funky weather. I mean it's like 67 degrees out right now and it's fall. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but with this here, in case you're going to have a little bit of a cooler day, you can run the uh, fireplace in this. 
It'll really heat the coach up inside here for you, and you don't have to waste propane by uh, running this here. You're going to have a nice little pantry. Uh, tons of storage inside this. If you have a dog coming with you, you got to find a place for the dog food. Or um, if you have friends that are coming with you, or you're going to have a party at the campground because you're closing up uh, eventually, um, you can fill this up and get all kinds of food inside there and really uh, really have one last go around at it before, before the season's gone. You're going to have a microwave oven on this as well too. Very large microwave for you so you can fit tons and tons of different things inside there. You'll have your oven, three burner cooktop on this as well too. And then sparker put right on it. This little switch here, when there's power hooked up to these, it actually illuminates the inside of the oven and these handles. It puts a cool little blue LED accent on them. Tons of storage on the island here as well. You have hard surface countertops inside this with a giant one-piece stainless steel sink and a residential faucet as well too, which is great. Um, it's going to allow you to do either tons of dishes or if your husband gets out of hand, you can spray them if you need be. I highly recommend it. You're going to have four-door refrigerator. So it's a very large fridge. You're able to fit tons of food inside there. Uh, more if you're going to be uh, on a liquid diet for the weekend, you can fit tons of stuff inside there that way as well. And then small things, I mean they even put a little wine rack on these as well too. Just small finishes that Grand Design does that really sets them apart from other manufacturers. You got tons of stores that utilize every little bit of space inside here. Two large drawers there. Large drawers all the way across on these. Actual glass inside the cabinets as well too. Just uh, another high-end finish that they do on them. This is also going to have the Wine Guard Gateway. It's a 4G LTE system as well as a Wi-Fi router as well. So in case you're going to be out of the campground where um, maybe you're working from it because you don't want to be at home with the kids screaming and yelling because they're at home doing homeschooling now. Um, you can kind of get away, sit inside the camper, use the Wi-Fi, boost your signal, and kind of work off of your laptop from your own little uh, PC quiet inside here. All of your main controls for your slides, awnings, hot water tanks, ceiling lights. Um, this has tank heaters on it, which are 12 volt heating pads that are on your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water tanks to prevent them from freezing. Um, all of your controllers are going to be inside here, as well as your awning light. These do have LED light strips on them, so you can illuminate the outside and really kick back and relax and have a fun little trip. As you come up here into the bathroom, you're going to have a three pane sliding glass door on the fridge, or on the fridge, on the shower. <laughs> I apologize, guys. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a bigger shower. Um, I know they don't usually accommodate the bigger people. I'm pretty big myself and sometimes these showers are just too tiny but this one I can fit it comfortably. Uh, they put the toilet on the angle to utilize the most space as possible. You also have a good sink inside the shower or inside the job after. I'm telling you these tractors are here really to, uh, to give us a challenge today guys. Uh, but as far as the bathroom goes you'll have a large overhead cabinet above the, the toilet. Again they put the toilet on an angle to make it a little bit more comfortable as well. Um, utilize a little bit of leg space. You get a little bit of a bigger sink inside this. Storage down below and a nice medicine cabinet here as well. Um, but one of the big features on this floor plan is actually going to be the bedroom. Tons and tons of space inside the bedroom here. Um, one of the big things you'll notice on most travel trailers is they're going to do a north-south bed, which means it's going to go this way. They do an east-to-west bed on this floor plan. Um, really opens up the bedroom, gives you tons of storage. You have a complete wardrobe here on this side. Um, you're going to have a TV backer location and a, a spot for a TV right across from the bed here with storage on either side. Full dresser here as well, too. Tons of drawers and storage for clothes. Um, and then check out this closet. There is tons and tons and tons of room inside here. Access to the pass-through storage inside here as well. Um, it's prepped, so if you guys wanted to put in a washer and dryer on these, they actually have a spot where you can put the vent in on it if you're gonna be using it on long trips and you need to bring clothes and uh, a washer and dryer they can actually fit inside here. You're gonna have all your shoe shelving, your full length in order to hang clothes, shelving up above. I mean, they utilize so much space in this front cap here in order to make sure that you have all the room you need. Um, underneath the bed here as well, again, 
tons of storage inside there. If your husband gets out of hand, kids get out of hand, dog gets out of hand, throw them inside here. Close it down, throw a lock on it, put it away, out of sight, out of mind, guys. You got tons of storage across the top, and that's all LED lighting throughout. Um, with Grand Design, they use some of the heaviest duty, heaviest duty insulation on the market with the roof. I believe it's an R40 insulation on this. Uh, more or less what that means for you guys is if you need it to stay warm in here, it stays warm. Um, when you need it to be cold, it is nice and cool. Again, this is a 2021 Grand Design Reflection. It's a 315 RLTS. This is just one of many models that we do have here. At any point you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Feel free to call and set up an appointment. Check out some of the stuff we have here. It's 716-694-0188. My extension's 406. Um, be sure to like and share, guys. And thanks for watching.